Well, the daily ignorance continues. So the I'm Dante situation was a... Uh, it was something because everyone thought that he just broke up with Lori because he wanted to, you know, just play League all day. Whenever in actuality, that that wasn't the full situation. But in my defense, you know, I will say sorry. All right. I'm, I'm not above saying sorry, thinking that he only did this because he just wanted to play League. I'm like, I don't know what his full intentions were still. Like, none of us do. But what we're about to talk about today is probably going to do a lot more clarifying of maybe there was a better reason why they broke up in, uh... <laughs> Dante just didn't tell us, but also he could have just tweeted out, yo, me and Lori broke up, instead of him going on this whole spill about how he's such a bad person for wanting to play League all day, and how Lori is a good person for actually wanting to be with him. So this all started whenever a streamer called Tarzan, uh, I guess uh, Dante's arch enemy at this point, an op in Dante's eyes, and I guess in Tarzan's eyes, Dante's is a uh, opposition too, because... Tarzan decided to just leak an extremely personal detail about Laura and Dante's relationship, which is Dante's and Laura, within the first month of the relationship, had an abortion, which, you know, traumatizing, all right? Makes sense why you don't want to talk about it, because who wants to talk about having an abortion? It's not really a topic that comes up much in life whenever you're like, so, how are you? I'm pretty good. Have you ever had an abortion? That's not a normal conversation anyone ever has, nor is it a normal slam dunk or even like a slam dunk that anyone has in their back pocket against their friends if they just in case become a rival. This is like the lowest level of scummery is to leak that someone had an abortion. But I guess some people like Tarzan just have no shame, morals, or ethics anymore. So here's the clip of uh, Tarzan in his eyes dropping the biggest truth bomb out there. Ooh, people broke up and they had an abortion. Ooh. I hope Dante's doesn't get banned off of Twitch for this. Right. One month into the relationship, Laura was pregnant with Dante as a child. And when she's at her most vulnerable, at, scared, anxious, Laura, he let her fly back to Germany to get an abortion while he stayed home in Stream League, basically, is a TLDR. And that is the nuke, basically. Just to show his character as a human being. Oh my god, yes, who cares if he did or didn't stay home to play League? I mean, like, she probably went to Germany with her family there, seeing that I'm assuming she would be going home to her family to have this abortion. They only knew each other for a month, and they both decided, you know what, let's get an abortion, because, uh, we're way too... <laughs> This is way too deep for a one-month uh, relationship. Just saying. Having a baby one month into your relationship is already a disaster. So I'm assuming they both realized, mm, maybe Laura should go home, get the abortion, be safe with her family, then come back whenever, you know, she's nice and ready. But I guess to Tarzan, someone making a responsible decision makes them a bad person or they have, like, bad character whenever that makes zero sense they, they were one month into the relationship <laughs> it was like their family was like oh my god this is the guy we never met before that got our daughter pregnant and now she has to get an abortion it's not like you're going there to meet them and be like yay hey we're getting an abortion that's why we're here that's that's who, who, who would want to do that who would want that to be the first way you meet your uh significant other's parents now i know that uh the stress of probably having an abortion and a lot of other things that Laura went into on her stream of why she was actually a pretty bad girlfriend. Like she would like scratch her arms until they bleed and hit her head against the wall whenever Dante's didn't give her enough attention. I'm gonna be honest here. You know, I know Dante's tried to do his best to make it seem like Laura was a good, perfect girlfriend that everyone would want. But um <laughs> Some of the details of the relationship that Laura went into kind of sounded insane. I'm just saying here, Dante should at least, I, I feel bad, because I slash the rest of the internet went in on this man, whenever in reality, uh, E-Girl was E-Girl, and she did very insane things. Who would have thought the prettiest woman of our dreams was the most unstable mentally? Today was that I wanted i felt like i wasn't getting hugged enough like physical uh romance like having hugs 
getting hugs or like good morning kisses and it was weird to me because i would always get them like before he would go to the gym he would always like wait give me a good morning kiss and then go and i was because of jet lag i was awake but i would not like turn around just to see what he would do and he wouldn't do it anymore so i was feeling a bit off or he would just go to bed after stream without asking me if i want to come with me because for people that watch me a bit longer they know um that sometimes Santos would go uh, come to me and be like yo laura like how long do you stream so we can do something and he didn't do that so i was feeling a bit off so then yesterday i i i am super crazy i have super crazy outbursts i scratch my arms open i bang my head against the door i make the most psycho thing ever but um yeah he like accepted me for who i was mm, i don't even know if they could beat that information out of me in guantanamo bay i don't know if i would tell someone or the internet that i'm that insane but you know boys girls like her have the best excuse that she's just a girly girl and that any mental stress that she goes through has to be put on to everyone else around her you know, you know what? I can't blame her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't blame her at all because, you know, she did have an abortion. It was very traumatic, probably. And also, uh, Dante's literally, from what she's saying, literally just stopped doing the things that, you know, a lot of people do in relationships. Like, hey, I still like you. Hey, you want to hang out? Which, you know, can be traumatic. Also, well, not traumatic. If you get traumatized over that, hey, man, you got bigger problems mentally. But it can be, like, frustrating. But I don't know if it's scratch your arms until it bleeds and uh, bang your head against the wall frustrating. But since Tarzan came out with this groundbreaking, earth-shattering, in fact, news that Dante's and Laura, within the first month of the relationship, decided, you know what, maybe we're not ready to be parents because... You know, first month into a relationship, you kind of don't know how it's going to go. Well, now we do. They broke up, and uh, I guess Dante's learned a few things about Laura that he probably wish he didn't learn about her outbursts. But, you know, they, they made a responsible decision. Instead of being two uh, separated parents, they decided, you know what? Let's go our separate ways. Let's get an abortion. That's cool. That's whatever. But Dante's actually you know had to respond to this because this is actually fucked up what tarzan did you know spilling the quote-unquote tea that they had an abortion just listen to this passionate rant that dante's went on which i would be honest here, i agree with 100 tarzan is a piece of shit for leaking this information <laughs> two hours after getting i completely broke down and I had to go to the emergency because I was just emotionally completely out of it. And <laughs> Dantes ended his stream earlier so we could call and I could express to him how bad I was feeling. And then my grandma came over and I like told my grandma I think I did a mistake. And she told me like, I'm so sorry for pressuring you. you if I would have known, I wouldn't have pressured you into like getting it. So it's so unfair to me for such a disgusting human being, a 20 year old man child to go online and lie about my history with abortion. This should have never been public. This is something he was told in private. Say things about me, right? But the fact that he decides to leak something like that as some kind of truth bomb. The fact that this disgusting fucking piece of shit sits there and talks in front of thousands of people leaking probably the most traumatic thing that either of us has ever had to go through! In front of thousands! When I didn't even talk about it to my closest friends! So yeah, that's the uh, whole new situation with Tarzan and Dante's. Fuck, fuck Tarzan. I'm just saying. What the fuck? What, what, how is this even a truth bomb? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like, I have to be honest. What, what, what do you gain from this? Like, you don't gain favor with the community. Everyone's just like, bro, you're a piece of shit for saying that out loud or like leaking this information. Like, I don't understand, boys. Like, 
Whatever. But I'm gonna be honest here. If they both got into a fight, there'll be a clear winner here. You know, let's all be honest here. Dante's will beat the shit out of Tarzan. Just like how Neon <laughs> got beat up by Jack Doherty right here in this video. Go ahead and click this and enjoy the tomfoolery that goes on in this video, boys. But other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes, there will be another video tomorrow.